Hello YouTube and welcome to episode 9 of my Bath City save here. We are still in the Vanarama National League South and when I last left you we had just beaten Luton 3-1 in the FA Cup first round. So we are going to go ahead and uh, we played the two matches, one against Maidenhead and one against Chelmsford. We won the one against Maidenhead 3-1 but Chelmsford we, we dropped a, a 2-4 home loss and we'll take a quick look at those highlights and show you where we're at and then we're going to be playing Hungerford at a uh, away match for the FA Trophy third qualifying round. This match was a real confusing match for me to watch initially because Maidenhead is wearing the black and white stripe like we normally do and so when I first started watching it I, I was confusing on which side was which. This is two and a half minutes into the match we have a penalty kick and you're going to see how they deliver this thing and we can get the victory out of this. Hunter pushes it out to Murphy and up to Watkins. He just chips it over the keeper. Gives us our first score of the match. And what I want to ask you all as we're looking at this, tell me what you think of this highlight angle. I'm still trying to work what's best here. Penalty kick. We committed a stupid penalty. Massey goes up to the spot. O'Leary um, misjudges where the ball is going to be placed. So they draw a level in the 11th minute, 1-1. Once again, here we come off a free kick. They push it out. Bowman gets it to the Diallo, and it rolls in just past the keeper. So it gives us a 2-1 a victory, or 2-1 lead, excuse me, in the 55th minute. Here we're going to take our third goal here. Hunter, once again, just a beautiful strike from right outside the area. Puts it right in between the wall, drops it into the corner of the net. Gives us our 3-1 victory there. That was expected to be a loss for us. So for us to come out of a victory with that thing, I was really pleased with. We outplayed them, if you look at the statistics, all the way across the board. So we turn around, we travel back home, and let's take a look and see what happens in the Chelmsford match. I changed the highlight on this one to kind of take a look at a, a different angle. So tell me which one you guys like, which one do you, you think is better. But this is the uh, Chelmsford match. We were supposed to have a draw on this thing, and I think my team just, it, it finally kind of got to them. Reese has got the ball. He pushes up to Warburton, to Jeffers. Alondo pushes it over, and O'Leary just mishandles the ball, which is really unusual for him. I, I, if I have to blame this match on somebody, this loss on some one person, I'd, I'd have to say it's O'Leary. If you look at the way he plays this, he just makes some really bad errors for us. They score this in the eighth minute. We turn around with a, in a minute later, and we move the ball around. We'll very well. Hunter get, brings it down on the side just like he's great at. Fleeter with a beautiful header. I mean, he, that was a classic textbook header. And I thought at this point, okay, maybe the problems we're having were not going to set us too bad. But here's Cotton. Free kick, header. O'Leary misplays that one. But that was a good strike. You can't really put that one on him. We're going to see on this next goal, though, that he just, he just completely blows it. The next one that we give up. The... Uh, the team's pretty much playing flat, I, and he just comes w completely out of position, wide open goal. I think I could have even got that one. So there we're down 3-1. At that point, I go over to an attacking mentality, and we, we got to do something. And once again, if you look at the statistics on this, we, we were completely outplayed. 23 shots to R6, 11 on target to R3. Possession was 50-50, but it was just it was a disgusting match. Fleetwood with a beautiful strike there. And ironically, Fleetwood, after even after this loss, he was named for the Vanarama League Team of the Week. So I was real pleased with his how his individual effort was identified there. But O'Leary was go to the week. I mean, he just just a, a, an abysmal performance from O'Leary. So I, I'm I'm hoping that they kind of pick things up, turn things around is we are looking at this next match and we can be successful in the qualifying match we have for the FAV. So give me just a second to get that set up, folks, and we will get ready to live com that one and see how we do with that thing. Well, let's take a look and see what the pundits have to say about this one. Say they fancy bat the win. Having looked at the lineup, they seem to have more about them than Hungerford, and I expect the quality to show during this match. We're, we're actually 13-8 uh, odds to lose. Hungerford is six to four favorites. One of the things that's really going to hurt us is, is Mon uh, Month, our left back, has been suspended because of yellow card, so we're going to have to make a change on that. But we'll look at that when we look at the formation we're going to be playing with. So let's see how well the pundits can, can call this one because the last two they've 
they've blown it as far as, as making the calls on us. So let's see how we set this thing up. Here we are with the lineups for the match. We are going to be in our turquoise and white stripe. We still got O'Leary in the goal, even though he had that bad match last week against Chelmsford. I think he's going to bounce back. The one change that we do make in that back line is we got Dan Ball on the left back because of uh, Monte Moth's suspension. Morris Bay Batten and Bowman across the back. Murphy and Artis in the middle. Hunter, Watkins, and Diallo and Fleetwood up front. Watkins is, uh, I'm, I'm kind of iffy about him. If we look at his squad status, ironically, the assistant manager is telling me that we should have him as not needed, but I think we're going to change that because he's been playing pretty well for us in there. And if we look at Hungerford, they are going to be playing a 4-1-2-3 defensive mid midfield wide. They've got Leg in goal, Tyler, Matuzak, Watsons, Clark, and Alad Wad Williams across the back line. Hunt is a defensive midfielder. Evans and Mayton dies in the middle. Balmy and O'Brien uh, as the attackers, as the wingers, and Murdoch as the striker. So we're going to take a look at our advice from the coaching staff, get the team pep talk going, and we'll take a look and join you back for the start of the match. Since we are playing away, I go ahead. I went ahead and set this up as counter, very uh, with a fluid style. And as you can see, my team talk didn't go over that well. So we're going to hope that they can kind of rise above the mediocrity that I started out with this, and we can get a victory out of this thing. Here they are coming out for the team introductions with the lineup. I think when I looked at it, there were about 250 fans in attendance. So. Another thing that we, I saw was really kind of odd with this is we play Hungerford three times because they're in the same division we're in. We're going to play them three times. The next two times we play them are back-to-back. -back. Looks like they're going to start out with the possession on this thing. And we're going to see. I'm going to make one quick change on this on the highlights. We're going to change the highlights from behind goal. Is Let's make these TV. I, I like this better. And then any goal replays, we'll get them behind the, the camera. So... It looks like nobody's pretty much doing anything. Uh, they've got a penalty kick in, a free kick in. Watkins has gotten it. Bad pass. Ball pushes it to Hunter. Hunter over to Morris. Morris to Baton. Loses it in the middle to Hunt. Looks like we've got to do something here, guys. I'm, I'm not liking what I'm seeing here. And let's, I'm going to change. Go ahead and leave this on key highlights there they go O'Leary he makes it for last week he's able to pull that one in and we'll keep this thing on key highlights we can see what's kind of going on here getting too much uh, so let's go ahead and shut him down and once again we're just all of a sudden now and Bowman's already got a yellow in the 29th minute we've got a corner here artist pushes and just a bad delivery pushes it into the box header and Leg gets it. Oh my gosh! Don't tell me we're gonna get, we're gonna have a, a a draw on this thing. I don't need another match right now. Pushes it out. Tyler Baton gets it, pulls it down. Header. And Hungerford has got it on control, bringing it down the left side to O'Brien. Brian pushes it to Tyler to Hunt. Over to Balmy, into the middle to Murdoch, O'Brien, and he's brought down in the box. Dan Bowman, you're going out. Is he going to put him out? No, he didn't give him a card, but here they've got a penalty kick. Last time we, we've had one of these, they gave it up. So, And O'Leary goes out of position, down 1-0. I can't believe this. We're going, we're doing well in the FA Cup and the FA Vase. We're not even going to get out of the qualifying rounds. Okay, this. Let's go attacking. I'm. We're, we're not. We're not doing anything. I mean. And here they come again. O'Leary, you got to control those, my man. See if we can do. I'm, I'm, and uh, another thing, at halftime, I'm pulling Bowman out. He's he got lucky, um, and I'm not going to take that. We're going to put Carl Martin in there. Bowman's coming out, pretty flat all the way across the board. And I, I'm going to chew him out. They, they, this is ridiculous. Um, let's take a look at the instructions real quick. 
I'm going to leave those alone for right now. Uh, I'm going to tell them to run. Let's get creative. Uh, let's let's see. They seem to know this tactic. Let's see what we can do with this. We're starting it out here. The artist, artist pushes it over to Murphy. Murphy gets Hunter breaking down the left side. He gets it under. He loses it at the edge of the box. I think that's. I think here goes our form. I think here here goes our form. We we're not getting shots on goal. We're not getting. We're we're nothing. I mean, they're out. They're out shooting us. They're they they're on target. We're losing possession. Watkins pushes it out to Hunter. Hunter pushes it into Murphy. Murphy to Artis. Artis back to Watkins. Come on, guys, move it down in there. Murphy over to Watkins again. The Artis Fleetwood, pull the trigger. There we go. Drew it level. There we go. Wow. Okay. That's that that. And he got a yellow card. What was that for? I don't know, but okay. Probably arguing with the ref, I guess. There you go, Fleetwood. Let's see if we see if we can pull a winner out of this thing. And Carl Martin has now got a, a yellow. Something about that that left back. They are. <laughs> Just bound and determined to get kicked out of this game. Hungerford still is beating us on, on stats. Looks like this is probably going to go come back into Bath because nobody right now is doing anything. There's no highlights coming. We're in the 12th, pretty much in the end, end of regulation time here. I'm really disappointed with the, the what I've seen out of the guys. And... Uh, yeah, we're that's it. Wow. Okay, well we're gonna see. I guess this thing goes into extra time. Yeah, it does. I didn't know that. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at this because I wasn't anticipating that. What kind of changes do I need to make here? Um, I mean, it looks like right now Diallo's having a, having a pretty bad game. But I, what I've got to watch is also how tired the guys are because I've already made that one substitution. So I'm going to leave it alone and see what happens. Uh, and they've got a corner delivery, and there they go. Hungerford just scored on a set piece. Header, uh, O'Leary pretty much out of position again. He came out too far. Murdoch got a nice header right over top of him. And I'm, I'm going to have to make this change. We're, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put him in there. Let's see if we can get something going here. Come on, guys. Hunter's going in on a free kick. And a header, and he scores. Oh my gosh! Kieran Morris gets a header in, in off the free kick, draws us level. See the delivery on this thing. Morris just kind of taps it off the right side of his head into the far post, drew us level on that. <laughs> this this is one of those games you kind of sit there and shake your head and wonder what's going to happen. So one oh three. In stop each time or in, in extra time. See if we can hold on to this thing. I mean, I, I I'm, I'm wondering. There's a part of me that says, okay, do we just pull this thing back and play for the draw and see, come back another day, or do we we go ahead with guns a blazing and try to pull something out here? Hunter breaking down the left side, crosses it in. There's Fleetwood. There's the. There we go. There we go. Now, there we go. Now, now that decision is made for me, guys. I am so. Stoked right now. That's what we needed to see. Hunter, you finally did your thing again. Crosses it in. Beautiful delivery. Right there and Fleetwood off his right foot. Beats the keeper. Wow. Okay. Let's do this. I'm, I'm going to go counter on this. Let's pull him back. Slow him down. We're 15 minutes away. Can we do this? Uh, let's take a quick look at how tired everybody is. I've only got one more substitution, so... 
I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to that keep that in my hip pocket in case I need it at the last minute here and I'm, I'm thinking I, I might even I might even slow them down a little bit more let's go ahead and park a bus on this thing because I, I don't want them running at all I, I'm gonna pause this real quick I know sometimes people get don't understand why I do that but it, I, the game can get too fast for me this way I, I can I can make sure I got everything going on I don't want to uh, take a chance on missing what's happening let's make them more disciplined I want them to stay in their positions I, I, I want to let's let's waste as much time as we can on this thing because we've got we've got less than five minutes with stoppage time they got a yellow card here we there's a throw into them Evans is they're 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 packing it back in there. That was a bad delivery there. So it should be a goal kick for us. There it is. Yeah, what a comeback! Wow, what a comeback! I am really that was fantastic. That uh, I know, brilliant, brilliant comeback on that. Let's take a quick look at the stats on this thing. Hungerford, twelve shots to our seventeen shots to our twelve. Excuse me, seven on target, eight are on target. We had more fouls. We played a sloppy game, but we pulled it together. The team drew together wonderfully. We get the victory out of this thing. So, let's go uh, get ready to see where we're going to be at, what we're going to be playing uh, on the next episode, folks. Well, here we are. Uh, we just beat Hungerford in extra time. What an exciting comeback for the guys. I was really pleased with that. We got 4,000 pounds for that victory that, that we got there. Our next match, they've actually rearranged the schedule for us. The Leighton Orient FA Cup second round match is now going to be on TV. It has been moved to Sunday, December 4th. So we've got a little bit of a break in there. We received 70,000 pounds for this being played on TV. So what's going to happen on the next episode, episode 10, we're going to play that FA Cup second round match and then we will take a look at the Welling match and get that result in there. I may just do the Late Orient. Let's just do that. Late Orient, that's going to be episode 10. That is going to be the the showcase of this. There there's some of the pundits that are saying we got a chance to actually pull this victory off. Then we can turn around and do the Welling match and the FA Trophy first round match. See what we can go with this. The the, the fans are ecstatic. Yeah, the the I'm just pleased with where we're going there, folks. So what do you think? Uh, got a question for you. You tell me. Are, are we going to pull this thing off? Are we going to beat Leighton Orient at home? Our second Sky Bet Two League, League Two side that we're going to have to face in this FA Cup. Are we going to Are we going to continue this giant killer streak that we're on here? This form that we're on here. Let me know what you think. Let me know what, you, what your thoughts are on this as we get ready to go into this thing. And I hope to see you back on Episode 10 as we face Leighton Orient at home in the FA Cup second round. Folks, if you like what we're doing here, go ahead and hit a like down there for me. Tell me how, how we're doing. If you have not done so, hit that subscribe button. Let's, let's see what we can do with this thing. And who knows? We may make it to the, the next round of the FA Cup. So thanks for following along, folks.